Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you where you can find free project templates for Vegas Movie Studio and I'm also going to show you how you can use them. Now what you're seeing on the screen here is one of the project templates that they offer. It's actually the title template and I will play it so you can see what it looks like. We'll start from the beginning here. You see it spins up, it has your title here and then it fades away. It's a really nice template if you want to add a title to your project. The good thing is that the project templates I'm going to show you, there are more than 10 different title templates just like that. So let's get started. To find the templates, you'll want to go to Vegas Creative Software and you'll find the link below. And on that page, you'll want to press Control F and search for Jumpstart. And you'll see a link that says Jumpstart Templates Volume 1 and Jumpstart Templates Volume 2. You'll want to download both of those. To download them, just click on it. And it's telling you to live in the community and it takes you to Magic which currently owns Vegas and you can download the template there. It'll download as an EXE file. Once you have it in your computer you want to click it. It'll ask you do you want to make changes and you click yes. You choose the language. I'm going to choose English. You choose the destination location and you can put these anywhere but in my case I have a folder on my eDrive called Movie Studio Projects. I'm going to put it there and then click select folder. And it'll tell you the installation files have been successfully extracted into the folder. We'll click OK. Do you want to go through the same process with Jumpstart Templates Volume 2 and put on some where you can find them? Next thing you want to do is you want to fire up Vegas Movie Studio. I've tested this in Vegas Movie Studio 15, but I haven't tested it in early versions. So we'll fire it up. I've already got it open here. And you'll go to Project, and then you click Open. And you'll open those templates. Let's open Volume 1. And you can see there's five slideshows, one promo, one YouTube pack, placeholders, three lower titles, three titles, two logos, two broadcast news related, two openers, and two presentations. Now if you wanted to use one of these, you just click, let's say we're gonna, we need a title, so we click Titles, and we'll choose Title 1, and then we'll click Open. And it puts Title 1 on the screen. And if we play this, it'll show us what it looks like. There's Title 1. That's the one I was using earlier. Now you see where it says Movie Studio. If you wanted to change that, all you have to do is see where it says Text, move your mouse onto the screen, right click, and select Edit Generated Media. And then where it says Movie, you'd want to replace that with your name. I'll just put Bill Myers. And we'll come down to Studio, do the same thing, right click, Edit Generated Media. And now when we play it, it'll have whatever text you put in there. So it's really easy. Of course, it helps to have some background music and some other things to go with it. But anyway, that's Title I on the Startup Templates Volume 1. So to find out more, you just click Open. And you can see that we have Title I, Title II. If we go to Jumpstart Templates, you can see there's lots of templates here. And under Slideshows, we're going to go to Five Slideshows. And you can see there's Appeal Slide, Simple Slide, Simple Wedding Slide. And if you wanted to do the Simple Wedding Slide, you click that and it asks you do you want to save I'm not going to save any changes and it brings up the wedding slide and we can check to see what it looks like and you see down here it says replace or your wedding photo or video and then placeholder this is where you replace the images with your own photos it has text that you can replace and all the templates work pretty much the same way there'll be things that says placeholder and to change your placeholder as you go here to project media select the placeholder, let's say placeholder 3, we right click on it and choose replace and replace that with a picture or whatever else you want. This is how easy to use these projects. Now one thing I learned when I was playing with this, it helps to close each project before you open a new one because this project sometimes uses a lot of resources from your computer. Let's go to our volume 2. This is Jumpstart Templates Volume 1. We're going to go to Jumpstart Templates Volume 2. And like we did before, let's look at the titles. Well, titles Volume 1. We're going to look at title number four, see what that looks like. And to play it, we click our play button. And that's a pretty nice looking title. Again, the advantage of having these templates is that it makes it real easy for you to have a starting point to create your own titles or your own intros or your own slideshows or anything like that. Obviously, once you've created it, you'll want to save it under a different name. Once you save it as a file, you can add it to other video productions that you're working on. We're going to look at one final title. We'll go to Project, Close, Project, Open. And we're going to look at Title 7 and click Open. And we'll see what this looks like. Nice video typography there. 
So anyway, these are the Jumpstart templates for Vegas Movie Studio. You can find them at vegascreativesoftware.info. Once you get to that page, use Control F to do the search and you'll find Volume 1 and Volume 2. The complete link to where you can find this is shown below. I thought you might be interested in knowing about these. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.